How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to talk about a new 2023 Chevrolet Suburban LT luxury package 20 inch wheel sunroof. It is actually available but before we do and before I just take this I'm going to move it over there to take the video. I want to show you video footage that I took from October 30th of 2021. What I want to point out is the new display. Check it out. Full digital dash for the uh, instruments and it also a big adjustment to the screen here. I try to be very unbiased. Now I'm a big fan of Chevy product. I generally like pretty much everything they do, but they did some changes to the to the radio system here. And personally, I don't like it. This is our main, like a home screen. Obviously you can see you have Google Maps on here now. You have Google uh, Assistant, Google Maps, and you'll also see you have the Play Store right on here. So it seems like it's an Android based system. What I don't like, obviously Google Maps, Play Store, Google Assistant, they have their own logos their own uh, branding in a sense as far as like the logo the color and how that button should look so right off the bat i don't like the fact that these are colored buttons uh, that represent that and everything else is this new sort of just icon pattern that gm has so it just looks off to me it looks weird that you have a nice full color logo and then you just have outline logos again just site wise i'm not a big fan of how it looks here you have the my chevrolet app which has a colored logo google news podcasts it's almost like why not make all the logos have some sort of color icon uh, you know, in their own way so it just looks cleaner. To me, it doesn't look as clean because you have a mix of both. Maybe if the Google emblems and all that sort of stuff were just the same grade color, that would be, that would be fine with me because it would all blend in. And as I sit here now in this 2023 Chevy Suburban, I'm just gonna personally assume that General Motors saw my video and they made the correction uh, to this screen to give it a more uniform look. So if you look now, your Google Assistant and your Google Map button are both the same gray color that the rest of the icons are. Same thing on our main page here. Now, if we swipe to the second page, Google News, Podcast, and the Chevrolet emblem and the Amazon Alexa emblem are still color. However, you can keep those on page two. This way, when you're on page one, everything looks nice. Everything looks uniform. That was totally my idea. And now that I, I, I'm gonna assume that GM is watching these videos, do me a favor. Could you go to like wherever our earn power is and whoever, whatever office that is that can approve or deny our new car uh, bonus numbers? For February, I'm off by a little bit because I have a university that bought a vehicle that had OnStar and because I didn't get the university facilities vehicle to download the mobile app, that one unit is dropping me down where I'm missing my bonus for February. If you could do something about that, I would greatly appreciate it. Back to the task at hand. This is a 2023 Chevrolet Suburban. Like I said, it's an LT model. It is four wheel drive. It has the 5.3 liter V8. And it has the option that most people want, which is the luxury package, the 20 inch wheels, and the new full size panoramic sunroof. So it's got the equipment that most people want in a Suburban. It does have the second row captain's chairs. Now, one of the great things about the new Tahoe and the new Suburban is they changed up the suspension underneath with this redesign. So in 2021, when a vehicle came out, independent suspension in the back, which means you could drop the floor a lot lower. You have more leg room in the third row. You also have more leg room in the third row because you could adjust where the second row is. So you have handles here. You can slide this seat forward and back. So if you need more leg room in the second row, there you go. If you need more in the third row, you lift this up, you can slide it forward. So you have like about four inches of travel on those seats. These seats are also reclinable, so we can lift up, recline back, drop our armrest and have a nice comfortable ride in the back seat. This combination truck, black on black, makes a perfect Uber vehicle. You have the room for passengers and you also have the room for cargo in the back. So when you're doing those airport transfers and things like that, you got room for, for five, six passengers and their cargo. Suburban is known to be great for that. Black on black is the color that all pretty much Uber and livery want. So if you're out there, you need a vehicle. I have this currently available as of the posting of this video. You do have heated seats in the second row. With the luxury package, you have some climate controls and USB ports. So when your, you know, your customers, your clients, or your family are in the back seat here, they can be plugged in, charged, and comfortable. And let me just show you the cargo area in the back. Got a power tailgate here we can lift up. 
As you can see here, you have a fantastic amount of cargo space. Again, with all your seats up, with the luxury package, you do get power folding third and second row. So if you need more cargo space, less passenger, you can fold that down. Now you have a, a, a tremendous amount of space. If you're moving all cargo, no passengers, press these two buttons here. You can drop the second row seats down. Now you are completely able to, to load this vehicle up. Uh, this is 48 inches wide, a little bigger than that actually. So you can fit sheetrock, plywood, things like that right inside here. I'd have to measure the length to see if it's eight feet from that center console to the end. Actually, let me get a ruler. Let's find that out. Oh yeah, we're definitely beyond eight feet. Uh, we have eight feet plus, uh, you know, as far as the length. And at the narrowest point here, we're at 49 inches. So correct, you can fit a piece of sheetrock or plywood right inside here if need be. Now, most times people will be using a Suburban to transport uh, passengers like myself. So here I am, six foot five, sitting in the third row. I have headroom. This is with the second row seat all the way forward. I have a tremendous amount of leg room, which is nice. I do have a cup holder and a little storage pocket on the side here. I have a USB-C charger for myself so I can keep my phone charged. And I have a very conveniently placed uh, air and heat vent right above me so it's going to just drop that air right down and keep myself nice and cool or warm depending on the season and if i move the second row seat back my knees are just about scraping the seat so i, I have less room however i can still fit so I'm, I'm six foot five comfortable in the third row of a suburban so that means you can fit definitely uh definitely two of me back here maybe three two in the front i could drive i could be a passenger up front and no matter where i'm sitting at my height i have room Let's get to some of the fun features of the Chevy Suburban. Now, a lot of times people will use these for road trips, right? It's a perfect vehicle for a family to travel this beautiful country that we live in. Now, this is a 5.3 liter V8 engine. You'll notice if we look at our instrument cluster here, the current range is 592 miles. Now, this truck does have a fuel tank capacity of 28 gallons. It gets about 19 on the highway, 15 around town. So you figure you're going to average somewhere around 16 miles per gallon. Funny thing is, I did the math yesterday from Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston, where I am, to GM's Detroit headquarters. It's 597 miles. Now, I've been idling here. I'm dropping miles per gallon because I'm not moving. But if you drive this conservatively, uh, you may, in fact, be able to make it from Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston all the way to GM's headquarters in Detroit on one tank of gas. This luxury package truck has things like a power tilting telescopic wheel. It does have, of course, full power seat, power mirrors. More importantly, or most importantly, it has driver memory. So if you're on some sort of a road trip and you have multiple drivers, you can set driver one, driver two, and everything's gonna go exactly the way they like it when they get in the car to drive, make it super easy. You also have power folding mirrors on this truck which is nice to have. So when you're parking in tight spots or on streets, things like that, you can tuck those mirrors in. Comes in very handy when you're going into a garage, as well as the 360 camera button, which is located right here. This is a one touch button to bring up the camera system in this truck, which is a full bird's eye view camera. It's an HD image. You can see you do have buttons along the bottom here. So each time you press one of these buttons, it's gonna show you either the front or the rear uh, camera angle. You also have one that looks down on the front, looks down on the back looks down the, the back side of the, the vehicles, looks down the front side of the vehicle, looks at where your towing hitch would be if you're doing any kind of trailering. You could also turn this bird's eye view on or off to give yourself a wider field of view. You know, all this sort of stuff, making it very easy to maneuver this big truck. One of the things I do hear a lot of times when people test drive these for the first time is that it's much bigger than anything they may be driven in the past. But I could tell you once they buy it, by the time they're here in two weeks picking up their license plates, they're comfortable, you know, and these camera assists and stuff like that are going to help out tremendously, you know, get used to a vehicle of this size. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that it does have the second row heated seats. Of course, your front row seats are heated as well. You do have a heated steering wheel and you have tri-zone climate control. So you have driver and passenger hot and cold knobs that can be worked independently. And then you have rear controls, which I like to access right here on the screen or on our display screen here. We'll just pull up um, the front settings here. You can hit the rear button, rear climate's off. We'll power it on and now you can adjust the rear climate. And you could adjust that independently from what you have on the front. So if the kids or your passengers or your clients are in the back and they want more heat or air and you don't up front, you can adjust that independently. Like I mentioned earlier, there are also controls in the back where you can allow your passengers to control that by themselves. One thing we, uh, we all pretty much never leave the house without is our cell phone. Now this does have a wireless charging pad. In the previous generation Tahoe, the charging pad was up top here. My phone now, which is a Galaxy S10 Plus, does fit inside here. Previous Tahoes, it was a little smaller, uh, the opening here. So the phone was on like an angle, and then when it was on that angle, it would not charge. What GM did was they moved the charging pad up front. So now it's a large charging pad that can pr pretty much fit any phone on the market today.
And you also have throughout the entire vehicle a number of USB ports. Uh, you have a 12 volt charger. You have a 120 volt outlet in the back. Multiple ways to keep your devices devices going on a road trip. As far as like storage compartments, things like that, you got a ton, right? So on the door panels, you have cup holders, you have, uh, you know, different storage pockets where you can put items you may carry around. You have one on each side of the front console. Of course, you have your wireless charger we just talked about. You got your cup holders. You got a big storage here in the center with a removable tray. You have your standard glove box. Like most cars, obviously, you can put items in there. And then you have this nice little compartment here, which kind of looks like an afterthought. You can put stuff in there, what you would carry in there, I don't know. The one thing I thought is if you're a passenger, you're on some sort of a trip, you can take your phone, pop it in. It's not gonna fit all the way, obviously, but it's just a spot you can kind of house it while you're in the vehicle. And you even have some extra cup holders in the back here for your passengers. On their doors, there's also pockets and things like that where they can put different items. So. It's definitely a great family vehicle, great road trip vehicle. I felt like showing a Suburban because we get very few of these in. You know, this is probably one of the first ones I have available in months. Suburban orders have been taking anywhere between 10 to 12 months for us to, to get the allocation from the time we take the deposit and submit the order. And, and it's still just a nightmare like it's been for the last two years with certain vehicles. I have a whole conspiracy theory on that. And if you think it's something you'd want me to talk about, let me know in the comments. It might be a little video that uh, I could put together in the future. That all being said, if you are in the market for a new Suburban, as of this upload, I currently have this one available. What I'll do is I'll write in the comments when the vehicle is sold, or in the description, I mean, I'll write that it's uh, sold once it gets delivered. This way you'll know right off the bat, uh, just by scrolling down a little bit. If you're uh, interested, reach out. Dave B, sells Chevy.